There's something special about concept devices, be it cars, smartphones or products from any other category. The concept products are the showcase of the human mind's limitless imagination in the engineering field and the industrial efforts to transform thoughts into real-world products. Now we must know that these concepts do not always have to translate to mass production devices but they are still very important. Concept devices give us a glimpse of future and let creators test new technologies to accelerate the development process. Xiaomi Mi Mix Alpha is all about that. The company recently organized a briefing session in India to showcase the handset that offers a crazy 180% screen to body ratio. It is packed with all the latest technologies in the display, camera and audio department and looks nothing short of a device straight from the future. I'm Rohit Aroda from Gizbot and this is our first look at the future of mobile technology. So let's get started. The Mi Mix Alpha offers a truly seamless design. The smartphone features a flexible OLED display that wraps around the phone's titanium body. Xiaomi calls it 4D surround display and it virtually transforms the entire mobile phone into a screen. The Mi Mix Alpha looks spectacular, however, the durability seems a big concern for a smartphone that flaunts an all-screen design. Unlike the more practical iterations of full-screen display devices like the first and second generation Mi Mix phones and the Vivo Next handsets, the Mi Mix Alpha offers a crazy 180.6% screen-to-body ratio. This mind-blowing screen-to-body ratio is achieved by packing all the critical components under the flexible OLED display. For the earpiece, Xiaomi has used an improved version of the Piezo electric speaker which was first offered in the original Mi Mix. The speaker is now accompanied by an ultrasonic proximity sensor to improve the calling functionality. Additionally, the display also houses an in-screen fingerprint scanner to help you unlock the device. The company claims that the Mi Mix Alpha users won't face any performance issues while making or receiving calls and while unlocking the device via in-screen fingerprint scanner. However, as the Mi Mix Alpha might never be available for testing in-house, the functionality of this hidden sensor remains a big question. The flexible OLED screen also helps to remove the clutter on the front. The back of the device can display the most used applications in the form of interactive widgets. Xiaomi mentions that the rear display might be able to perform real-time AI scenario detection in future. One example can be seeing your boarding pass for an upcoming flight or checking your approaching Uber ride in real-time location. It is also worth mentioning that the Mi Mix Alpha also packs more sensors than the other smartphones we use in our daily life routine. Xiaomi has added humidity and air quality sensor that can display useful environment information at the back panel. In short, the possibilities can be endless depending upon the use cases and the efforts put by the hard-working developer. As the flexible OLED wraps around the edges, the display even replaces the side frames of the Mi Mix Alpha. The edges display pressure-sensitive virtual side buttons such as volume rockers and power button. A linear motor has been placed inside the edges to stimulate the touch of the real buttons. We couldn't evaluate the haptic feedback as the phone was not allowed to be touched. The performance of these virtual buttons remained a topic of debate. The status and notification icons are also placed on the edges to make them more intuitive and informative. On paper, the Xiaomi Mi Mix Alpha beats the competition by featuring the first ever 108 megapixel camera sensor. The massive camera uses Samsung HMX sensor to produce ultra-high resolution images. The 108 megapixel sensor is equipped with laser autofocus and is 300% bigger than the widely used 48 megapixels camera sensor. The OIS enabled lens allows you to shoot in native 108 megapixel and shoots 27 megapixel pixel bin pictures by default. The Mi Mix Alpha can capture hardware stabilized 4K videos and can even record 8K videos but with no stabilization support. The 108 megapixel camera is accompanied with 20 megapixel wide angle lens and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens. Sadly, we cannot give you a detailed evaluation of the camera's autofocus speeds and picture video quality. The company showed a sample shot that looked unbelievably crisp and full of details. We might get an idea of the image quality with the Mi Note 10 that also uses the same 108 megapixel sensor. The Mi Mix Alpha is powered by the top of the edge Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus chipset supported by mammoth 12GB of RAM and 512GB UFS 3.0 storage. It's a winning combination and more than enough to light up millions of pixels on the 7.92 inches touchscreen display 
that offers a resolution of 2088 into 2250 pixels. The smartphone runs on a 4050 milliampere battery unit that supports and supports 5G thanks to the Snapdragon X50 5G modem. The smartphone seemed pretty fluid with the basic scrolling and UI navigation. However, the company still needs to better optimize the software for the wraparound screen design. There are only a handful of Mi ecosystem apps that work on the dual-sided display. Now it depends on the developers whether they want to invest their time in optimizing applications for a device that might never translate into a mainstream product for masses. The company itself mentioned that the Mi Mix Alpha is not ready for mass production. In that case, the app support for this futuristic piece of technology remains a big question. The Mi Mix Alpha is a clear representation of what the smartphones of future will look like. The company has proved that it has the technology and vision to produce something so futuristic for which the mass market and the company itself isn't ready for. One thing is quite sure, no one can resist the Mi Mix Alpha. It is unquestionably flaunt-worthy but remains nothing more than a collectibles item. It's still a work in progress and is far from being a mainstream smartphone due to various issues with the wraparound display, design such as durability, privacy, expensive price, software optimizations and a lot more. Only a handful of technology enthusiasts will pay the premium price of Rs 2 lakhs for it. The question is, are you among them? Let us know in comments and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel for more technology videos.